What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome. I'm Chief Running Mouth. And I'm Captain Genway. And today... Today, we are... Day. I stole it. Um, today, we are doing a word of mouth. So, oh, yeah. this is a video series that we started a while ago, and because we hadn't really left the house, hadn't been able to do again for a little while. Mm -hmm. But this is local businesses or artists, mm -hmm. vendors that we find at conventions that we like to tell you about mm -hmm. via word of mouth. Yeah. So um, last night, Noise Complaint had a show at, uh, what was the convention called? Play World Minicon? Yes. At the Museum of Science and History here in Jacksonville. It was so fun, mm -hmm. so much fun. Um, one of the things I told my dancers is like, hey, you know, make sure if you have money that you're bringing to spend, spend money at these vendors because it's been a hard year for a lot of convention mm -hmm. vendors, convention artists, and they could really use all the patronage that they can get. So if you can, please patronize the vendors. Mm -hmm. And I definitely took that to heart and spent way too much money <laughs> last and, night. And the thing about the um, the vendors at conventions is a lot of them, this is their full-time job. Yep. A lot of people don't realize. They think, oh, well, they just do that on the side. But a lot of yep. them, this is their main income. This is how they pay their bills. When they're not at the convention selling it, they spend all week making it. This mm -hmm. is their 40 hour a week job. And for a whole year, they were out of work. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were, and they were banking on online sales and stuff like that. So now that they're back out at the conventions, mm -hmm. I want to let everyone A, know about who they are and so that you can find them. And B, just, I want to tell everybody, just help out your local vendors mm -hmm. and local artists. And that is exactly what we did, much to the chagrin of my wallet, but it's <laughs> fine. So um, there's two that we want to tell you about today. We're going to start with Busy Mama Bath Products. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can find them online and you can special order things through them or mm -hmm. they have a like ton of stuff on their mm -hmm. website. Uh, BusyMamaBathProducts.com. Now, I bought a bunch of stuff. So did my roommate. By a bunch of stuff, I mean two things, but you know what I mean. Um, but both me and Alex spent a good amount of money there, mm -hmm. sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, their prices are actually really, yeah. really good. So what we did is we got, I got two candles, and he got a candle and a bath bomb. Now I need to tell you about this bath bomb first. Mm -hmm. Look at him. It's a turtle. They have all kinds of shapes. Mm -hmm. They have game controller shapes. They have yin-yang. They have... Um, here, you hold that. Yeah, I'll show you guys closer. Ooh, mm -hmm. Look at the turtle. He's My so thing cute. is that I love the candles, but Alex really loves a good bath. Mm -hmm. um, they have like sun and moon. They have donuts. Donut-shaped mm -hmm. bath bombs. They've got... Uh, Ooh, cinnamon bun shaped bath bombs, it's fossil shaped bath bombs, like dinosaur fossils. The cinnamon bun looks like it's got like the icing on top and everything. It looks like a cinnamon like you look like you could eat it. Okay, what? but they have a baby Yoda bath bomb for only seven dollars on their uh, website. I want to take advantage of and that. It's actually their we best saw it seller. live last night. It was yeah. so cute. They have a unicorn. They have a emoji with a mask on it. Um, they have a chill pill. Yeah, it's. <laughs> they have so many different ones. There's pizza. There's a pizza bath bomb. I don't know I what it, it smells like, but I don't even care. I this just one it. smells like green tea, Ooh. and it has antioxidant properties of green tea in it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and these are all natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look how cute he is. Look at him. Look also, at him. Uh, the ladies that were running the booth, I, I believe the one lady is the owner. Mm -hmm. and, and then the other one is the one that makes the candles. Yes, they um, were the sweetest people. Absolute sweetest. Um, as you guys may know from a video that we recently put out, I've been dealing with a fear of touching things, and those ladies spent my entire time at their booth opening things so that I could smell them and picking things up for me and Lysoling what I purchased mm -hmm. before handing it to me. I was so grateful. They were amazing with me. Mm -hmm. So if for no other reason that you want to buy these things, buy it because these these ladies are just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's the bath bomb. And the bath bombs range from, I think, $5 to $8 on their website. And usually at conventions, people have like deals and different prices. So if you see them at conventions, you mm -hmm. might be able to get a better deal if you see them in person. But on their online store, all of this stuff is available. I will be making an online purchase mm -hmm. today because they didn't have one of the candles I wanted mm -hmm. last night. They also have uh, bath cream. I, I, it's for like shaving, you know, you can like rub it on whatever you're shaving, but they had one that uh, was birthday cake mm. and it
it I, looked like icing with sprinkles. It, it smelled didn't. like icing with sprinkles. And that's the candle I'll be purchasing. They didn't have that in candle form. And I won't be purchasing that. Um, they, In addition to bath bombs, they also have soap scrubs and shave creams. That's and what it was, they have it cream. in birthday cake. They have it in black raspberry. You can get it in all kinds of flavors. That's a waffle bath bomb. Do you see that? That it's is a waffle, a waffle bath, bath bomb. bomb. Um, they also have different... Uh, they, they did a whole Mother's Day mm -hmm. selection, so there's still some Mother's Day stuff on there. So if you have like a mom who has a birthday or something coming up, it's they it's like mommy shark, mommy shark candle. Oh. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I absolutely love their selection of stuff. Mm -hmm. If I did bath bombs, I would have spent way more money last night than I did, but I want to show you these candles. What about so, the candle that looks like a... Oh yeah, they have candles that look like pie. Mm-hmm. Like an actual pie, and then they're, they're I was going to say flavored, but they're scented like um, like the pie that they're supposed to look like. I bet you they taste like it too, but I wouldn't advise eating. No. But yeah. So it's... I'm trying to see if they have the mini size candles on their website. Mm -hmm. Talk for a minute. But <laughs> they, uh, they also, in person, I don't know if they do it online, but they also sold masks. They sold this really cute version of... Uh, um, connect or not connect for um, tic tac toe. Oh yeah, but, and one of them had bees. Yeah, it had little bees on it. Had little froggies. One of our dancers was absolutely just in love with yeah. that idea. Okay, so it doesn't look like they sell the the little candles on the website, but you can get these at their convention booth. Uh, mm -hmm. So this little candle was only five dollars. Mm -hmm. This is doesn't say how many. Oh, it's a three ounce candle. And it comes in a little metal tin. They're all soy and clean burning. This smells like vanilla sandalwood. And I'm like handing it to you so you can smell it. <laughs> smell the screen, guys. Does it um, smell good? It smells a lot more like sandalwood than mm. like vanilla. So this is going to be for when you want that earthy aroma in your mm. house. And I definitely want that soon. Okay. So it's it just smells really good. It's not too strong, but it's not too subtle either. So this is going to be one of those... One of those good scents. Mm. It's going to be for when I want the living room to smell really, really nice, but still homey. I got you. Um, Alex got clover fields and aloe, and mm. this smells so clean. Mm. Like, I think if he if he put this in his bathroom lit, I could walk in there and go, is somebody showering? <laughs> like, it smells that clean. And again, soy, clean burning. These run for about 50 hours, they said. You'll get 50 hours of burn time off these. This is a six ounce candle. And again, it comes in this cute little tin and it has their um, their website right on the front mm -hmm. so that you can purchase more. I wasn't gonna buy a second candle. I was just gonna get the little one. Mm -hmm. But then I saw this. Oh, what's this Guys, one? Guys, this is toasted marshmallow. Do you know what it smells like? <sighs> Apparently really good. <laughs> toasted marshmallow. <laughs> it smells like like marshmallow fluff, marshmallow frosting. Mm. And the best part is, is it you, looks. A, I was gonna like say it looks singed, like a marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow. How cute! That was like they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to add that extra little piece there. But it does look like you slightly charred it a little bit. <laughs> I'm crying. So yeah, six ounce candles mm -hmm. burn for about fifty hours. The three ounce candle I would assume would burn for about twenty five hours, mm -hmm. and then look a at turtle. him. And then um, I'll write in the description after Alex finally uses it. I'll update the description to let you know how this, like, if it was any good when it dissolved into the bath and what it actually like smelled like, because we can't smell it through the thing. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Mm -hmm. So that's Busy Mama Bath Products, mm -hmm. and you can find them at BusyMamaBathProducts.com. Uh, their selection online is absolutely fantastic. And if you didn't catch that, it will be in the description for yeah. you to find them. So the other booth that we found last night that I spent too much money at <laughs> um, was Pure Alchemy Soaps. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know me, if you've been on this channel long enough, you know I love candles. Mm -hmm. You also know I love soap. So I passed their booth, and I was like... I'm going to buy all your stuff. And they're like, hi, weirdo. <laughs> but I was just so excited to see mm -hmm. a soap vendor. Now, what makes them so cool? Do you play D&D? I walked up to their booth and I was like, wow, I love your soaps. They smell so good. They're like, great, awesome. Do you play D&D? &D? And I was like, yeah. They're like, well, what character do you do you usually play? What, what class do you play? Like, what job do you play? And I was like, I'm pretty much always a bard. 
And they're like, okay, so they picked up a soap that was labeled Bard and it smelled so clean. Oh my goodness, I don't know what the scent was, but it smelled so clean. And it'll say, by the way, what the scents are on their, on their online store. Um, they have an Etsy shop, by the way. Um, so I was like, Bard, okay. And then they're like, yeah, and so what, what race do you usually play? And I was like, usually half elf. And she hands me a soap that says half elf. And I'm like, oh my God, this smells really good. Mm -hmm. And then she says, oh, and what's your alignment? I was like, neutral good. And she's like, oh, here. And then I smelled that. I was like, oh, that smells neutral good. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do this thing called create your character RPG themed soap. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? It's it was... a three soap bar set mm -hmm. of your job, your race, and your alignment. Mm -hmm. And they write your character's name on it. Mm -hmm. You get like a little a little card that has yeah. your character's name on, on the soap. It's so cool. You can get a new one for every character that you make. A new set of that soap. That could also be cool for someone like has a gift. Like if you're like, oh, my friend loves D&D but loves soap. Oh my god, I'm going to be doing all the Christmas gifts next year from this, from yeah. this store. <laughs> that is too cool. Oh my goodness. So you basically for $25 on their Etsy store, which is etsy.com slash shop slash pure alchemy soaps. Um, soaps, plural. You can do create your own character or create your character RPG soap trio and you get little soaps mm -hmm. that correspond to the job, the race and the uh, alignment. And they have lots of different jobs. I'm going to like come down here for a second. Mm. They have alchemist, barbarian, bard, cleric, druid, fighter, monk, paladin, ranger, rogue, sorcerer, and wizard. That's all that I see there, but they may be able to do more if, mm -hmm. or maybe they have more that's not listed. Um, so there's basically you get to pick three different bars of soap mm -hmm. and you can pick it by that or you can pick it just by what it smells like. There, there's nothing wrong with that. And you can create your own character based on smell. I'm oh, I like this smell. Oh, cool. It's chaotic neutral. Awesome. Oh, I like this smell. Oh, I'm a cleric today. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you can do it based on either one. Um, I'm, I'm worried about what orc smells like. <laughs> <laughs> one of the other things that they sell that is just so cool is liquid soap potions. Mm. Now, these are bottles of liquid soap. Just let you would, like you would get from any store, mm -hmm. but they're labeled mana, health, and haste. So oh. they're basically potion soaps. I'm oh, nerding really out cool. so hard. I didn't get any. They also do custom bath salts, but I didn't get any of that. What I got last night, mm. they actually, I can't resist a mystery box. Oh yeah. It's a mystery box of soap. So there's three bars in here. I have no idea what they smell like. And this, they come with like different cards mm -hmm. explaining the soap. I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. So we're going to find out together. Okay. Yeah. And it's crazy. The packaging is, is good Look enough it, so cute. that you can't smell through it. I can smell in general that this stuff smells good, but I can't tell what mm -hmm. it smells like. It all, it, all of their soaps had a very earthy aroma. Mm. It was very nice, mm -hmm. very natural. Which is good, especially with soap. You want a good natural scent. Yeah, so let me open this. Oh, it's it's a story. Greetings, friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Idana Udamera, master alchemist of Nedith and transmuter extraordinaire. I have traveled the bridge world in search of unique reagents to create al alchemical wonders never before seen. The package in your hands contains a small sample of my work transmuting exotic ingredients through a process I call saponification may these wondrous fragrances of faraway places take you on an incredible olfactory adventure that is so cute mm -hmm. also the mystery box you can only get at their table if you mm -hmm. find them in a convention and it was half or less than half the price of getting the regular mm -hmm. so the three bar thing but you didn't get to choose mm -hmm. so i decided to go for the mystery because i will see them again and at an event on the 29th mm -hmm. so i'm really excited all right, here we go. I'm the worst at While you're opening that, though, you can you can definitely tell like when someone's like a hardcore D and D player when they ask you what's your alignment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's their business card. That's, That's super awesome. cute. All right, so each bar, mm -hmm. these are the three bars. Now these are smaller size than the bars that you get for mm -hmm. um, more money as well. Uh, the yeah, come Vento. On, Vento. Come on, get come in on, here. You want to smell it? <laughs> He's gonna run over here, smell it, and be like. Mm. Um, 
So these are, I want to say half the size mm -hmm. of oh, okay. the bars that you, that you would get for the three bar set. Mm -hmm. Um, so it is still worth it to do the three bar set for sure. I'm, I'm going to buy that on the 29th for sure. You make your character? Yes. <laughs> for, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'll make Onik. I'll make a character. Okay. 50 bucks worth of soap, but it'll last a while. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So each of these apparently comes with a story. So. Each one of them has their sticker on it and it says, uh, pure alchemy soaps. So that's really cool. Yeah. I like the branding. All right, here's the first one. Oop, well, I dropped it. It's blue. Hmm. Do you want to smell it to see if you can guess the smell? It's just clean. It just oh. smells clean. It doesn't say. Maybe it says in the story. Hold on. Fedanu paste. I think I'm reading that correctly. This concoction is an interesting jam-like paste that is often used as a fruit spread in the poorer sections of the bridge city Nedith, or Neolith. I can't, I can't read it's this. It's got this really fancy It's a writing. really fancy font. Um, Bogberry port with a splash of honey ale. Its final flavor depends upon the liquid used. So, wow. I'm not going to read the whole story, but it definitely gives it like a really fantastical story mm -hmm. to go with the soap. I got to make sure that these stay together mm -hmm. so if you want to and they're it. they're natural soaps you can see i have i need to show you these better but you can see that it's natural cut mm -hmm. so i would say it's um i mean it's a decent size bar oh yeah that's gonna last for it's a little gonna last while. at least a month yeah and i wash my hands a lot all right next one mm -hmm. yeah you can wrap that up for me mm -hmm. hi bento bento yeah. so you can just see his tail he's just roaming he's like what's the smells <laughs> What are the smells, guys? I don't know. Okay. That's my phone, guy. This one is like a teal or a cyan. Mm -hmm. It also smells really, really clean. They just all smell really clean. Mm -hmm. It smells different, though. I want to say this has more of like a water, like mm -hmm. an ocean kind okay. of scent, which makes sense with the color. You can see. Yeah, it's a pretty decent size. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not tiny. Um, this is Spriggan's Sap. Uh, Cedar Hollow is home to all sorts of fake creatures. One such creature is the Spriggan. They are guardians of the forest. Um, I'm trying to see if it gives a hint as to, like, what the scent is, but it's, it's very forest sap-y. Mm. But it, it definitely has, like, an ocean kind of scent to it. Mm -hmm. A good one. That's a good, good ocean scent, I promise. Here. So like a fresh scent, kind of? Yeah. Okay. And then this one, I love being able to unbox these for you guys because this is just so exciting. I love soap. <laughs> All right, now this one is purple. Ooh, that's like musky. This one is very, like, it has a dark scent to it. Very musky. They didn't even know what these scents were. Mm -hmm. Like, they had packaged them months ago and just forgot so mm -hmm. you can see it's very like purple i got all of like both of my parents favorite colors mm -hmm. which is cool spider haunt truffle spider haunt woods is known for the nests of giant spiders that reside deep within the dense forest thankfully you don't have to go too far into the woods to hunt for these delectable mushrooms uh basically the mushrooms are a they're graded over desserts of nobility mm. they're sweet mm. so i got like a musky scent, Which a very ocean breezy scent, and just a very clean scent. That would make sense where, like, because mushrooms usually grow in, like, a dark, damp area. Mm -hmm. So that would make sense. Very, very musty. Mm -hmm. Musky, I mean. And this is the first one, right? Uh, I want to smell again. Yeah, I want to say that this one smells a lot like a very subtle flower. What was this one again? That one was It's like jam, port honey. and honey ale. It's very sweet. To me, it smells like a flower. But I want my soap to smell like flowers. So, yeah, I've, I'm, an, I'm obsessed with these. Oh, so good. This is my favorite one. Yeah. This is definitely my favorite one. But, yeah, I am excited to get the Create Your Character. We'll go ahead and... Um, 
do a review of that if you guys want us to. Just write down below mm -hmm. if you'd like us to. But yeah, this was, uh, let me tell you a little bit about their shop. Uh, the Create Your Own Character is available as a featured item and so is the Liquid Soap Potions. You can also order each soap individually. Mm. Um, they're $10 a bar if you order them individually and $25 if you do the three bar set. The Liquid Soap is $15 per bottle and if I remember from last night, the bottles are pretty decent size. Mm -hmm. um, custom bath salts and yeah, that's it. But Somebody they are... Board. Yeah, <laughs> they're at etsy.com slash shop slash pure alchemy soaps. Mm -hmm. And we'll have that information down below for you as well. I hope you guys had mm -hmm. a great time learning about these two amazing small businesses. Mm -hmm. Definitely support them if you can, if you want soaps, if you want um, mm -hmm. candles, if you want... Look, no, look at, and there's, they're so mm -hmm. inexpensive. I'm sorry, but $7 for... Yeah. A bath bomb? Yeah, it was between like five and eight dollars. Five and eight dollars for a bath bomb? Look at the size of this thing. Like, that's amazing. The um they have, they have a little three. grapefruit one that's three bucks. Mm -hmm. And I love the smell of grapefruit. I would totally do that. Uh yeah, five dollars, seven dollars. The gamer bath bombs are only six dollars and they are legit like, like a, that big. Looks like a PlayStation controller. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the donuts I think were like this big. And those are six or five. Um, I mean, these prices are insane, y'all. Mm -hmm. Look at the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon, the cinnamon roll is big. This, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, so we're really excited now mm -hmm. that I know that these companies exist. I'm extremely excited mm -hmm. to purchase from them more often, and I hope that you guys will too. Mm -hmm. If you're not local to any of the conventions that they'll be at, again, their online stores are available, and the prices are insane. Um, but yeah. If you're going to be at the, if you're in the Jacksonville area or in Florida or Georgia and you feel like coming out, um, it's a mini con. I think it's a dragon renaissance themed mini con mm -hmm. at the Museum of Science and History on May 29th. You'll catch these vendors as well as our company's show at this event. So make sure that you come. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that they also said, both vendors also said that they would be at Ancient City Con in mm -hmm. Jacksonville. And I think one of them also said that they would be at WasabiCon in Jacksonville. So definitely this area, but you mm -hmm. never know where you might find them. So at least check out their website to see where you can find them next. Yeah. And please, if you go to a convention or an arts market or a vendor fair, please patronize these vendors if you can. Mm -hmm. I know not everybody is in a financial place to spend this much money on soap. But um, if you can, do so because mm -hmm. this is how they pay their bills. Yeah. So. Well, if you guys enjoyed the thought of smelly goods, because I can't ask you if you smell them and you enjoyed them, but if you enjoy the thought of smelly goods, <laughs> do, hit that thumbs up. do the stupid up. again. <laughs> Here. Ah. Hit that thumbs up button. Let us know that you enjoyed this. It's a great way to get these companies out there. You know, we are not sponsored by them. We no, just, not at all. <laughs> we just are people who bought them and enjoy the smells. If we buy from a company that makes a good product mm -hmm. and just are just good people we will absolutely do a word of mouth about them if you would like us to do a word of mouth about your company please let us know we will we'll send us a message we'll talk about it even if you're super far away we'll figure it out and we would mm -hmm. be happy to do a word of mouth about your products mm -hmm. so if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button let us know that you want to hang out with us and enjoy these uh, unboxings these word of mouth and all these kind of things we do a lot of fun challenges life things going on between us and just all kinds of fun things all around so if you enjoyed that hit that subscribe button we're on the road to a thousand so I, we're i'm sorry i'm so distracted because i cannot wait to wash my hands <laughs> i'm like which one am i gonna use but yeah so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us you're gonna use that one oh, so good <laughs> i'm gonna use this no one. that's alex's but once it's gone, it's gone. It's mine. All right. But well, no, thank so you thank guys you for so joining much. us. <laughs> As always, I am Chief Running Mouth. And I'm Captain Genway. And we're out of here. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.